I've got two So Hilly Jane subscription boxes to share with you this month, so stay tuned to find out what's inside. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tine. And I'm here today with the October So Hilly Jane unboxing. I did miss out last month, we just didn't get a video filmed in the end. And I thought I might show you just a little bit of what's inside. I'm not going to go into loads of detail about that one, but I'll show you the main fabric and the little gifts that were inside and things like that. Just before we get started, to explain what is going on behind me here. <laughs> I decided to have a bit of a fabric stash sort out. So to do that, I've basically got all of my fabric stash and piled it up on the sofa behind me. So there is like a viscose pile, a cotton pile, a knits pile. Well, there are more than one pile and there's a lot of it there and it's quite overwhelming. I am going through it and sorting it out and getting rid of some. I need to make it smaller because I don't think in my lifetime I could sew up that amount of fabric. It's a little bit crazy. So I need to get rid of some. And I will talk more about that in another video, like what I'm doing, how I'm choosing, what to keep and what to get rid of, because I am doing it in a sort of logical, methodical way. <laughs> So I'll explain that in another video anyway, but just to explain why there's huge piles of fabric on the sofa behind me. Also, I am wearing a Tilly and the Buttons Tabitha t-shirt, which is from the Make It Simple book. I have made this in a cotton jersey, which is in like pastel -y shades of colour. <laughs> pastel shades and we've got some like wibbly wobbly stripes. I always call them that after that's what Liz from the Baker That Sews called them. She had this same fabric I think but in a different uh, colour palette. So yeah I got this from Sewis Faction. I got a metre of it and made this t-shirt. You'll notice that I have used the stripes going vertically on the neckband and on the sleeves and horizontally on the body. The only thing about this t-shirt now is since I made it, I made it about three months ago and I've been hitting the gym pretty hard. I've been going to CrossFit and I've been getting quite um, muscular. So you'll notice that it, the sleeves are quite fitted now, which they weren't before because my biceps <laughs> and shoulders have increased in size, which I'm happy about because I'm getting stronger. But next time I make this t-shirt, I do need to increase the size of the sleeve because they're a little bit tight now. But the rest of the t-shirt is absolutely fine. So I will keep the rest of it as a size five, but just maybe make the sleeve slightly bigger. <laughs> so we should get started really. And just before I start, if I'm a bit waffly or a bit confused in this video, I've been up since 3 a.m. with my son. <laughs> It's now nearly 5 p.m. so I've been up for 14 hours now and I'm feeling quite tired. So just in case I'm not my usual self, that is why. Anyway, let's get going. I think I'll show you quickly what is in last month's box. So I subscribe to the classic box which is £35 a month. There's also a mini box for £20 a month or a luxury box for £65 a month. The, uh, the classic box, which is sort of the middle tier, you get 2.5 metres of fabric and you get four fat quarters and also some sewing gifts and notions and a sweet treat and things like that. I find it's a level that works for me. I did originally subscribe to the mini box, but I found it a bit restrictive after a while because you only get one metre of the main fabric. And although it was a great challenge and I really loved trying to figure out what you could do with a metre, I started to want to have more choice really and more option with what I could make. So I went for the classic and I'm really happy with that one. So let's just quickly have a little look inside. So the theme for last month was measure twice, cut once. And it's all about like geometric and lines and shapes and things like that. So I'm not gonna talk through the magazine, but that was the theme. Then the gift which is really gorgeous is this lovely little pin badge so it's designed by Jen who was on the sewing bee and she has a business making these um sewing rulers 
She's known as Generates on Instagram and that's her business name. And she makes these lovely little L-shaped sewing rulers. So Hayley got her to basically design and make a mini one as a sewing badge. So that's really lovely. I think that's a really sweet gift. Just noticed on the back, there's a discount code of full size rulers of 20%, but it ran out yesterday. But because I hadn't looked at what was in the box, I missed that. Never mind. <laughs> so that is the gorgeous little gift that was in the box. The fat quarters were really lovely. I already knew what the fat quarters were because if you don't already know, I contribute a fat quarter sewing project tutorial to the magazine every month. So Hayley sends me a set of the fat quarters out in advance to do my project. So she has it in time for the magazine. So the fat quarters look like this. They're gorgeous, really lovely blues and oranges and they've got really lovely shapes on. So I really like those. Then a couple of little sewing tools. So we've got a tape measure in there, which is always handy. And tape measures can actually stretch out over time or you can maybe damage them by catching them with the iron, things like that. So it's good to have a little stash of them. And then there's this gorgeous ribbon, which is like tape measure designed ribbon, which is just gorgeous. Looks like there might be about two meters of that. So that's great, really cute. Then the sweet treat, which are delicious. They're Sam's favourite, so I might give those to Sam as a little present, as a reward for editing my video. <laughs> Chocolate buttons, I guess because of the circles, fit in with the shape, geometric, like, shape theme, basically. Then the colour thread I have is orange, and that goes with the main fabric. So this is it, it's a viscose, it's got orange, red, and white in it and it's got a black base to it and it's got these really interesting shapes. Now, I'm going to be honest and say, when I first saw this, I didn't think it was for me at all. I really didn't. And I thought I'd probably just pass it on to somebody or de-stash it or give it to my mum or something like that. But actually now I've seen people sewing it up, people that receive the box as well. I actually really like it and the colours are colours that suit me. So I've been thinking recently about what colours suit me and what season I am in terms of colours. And I had a really interesting conversation with a lady in First for Fabrics last week. Hi, if you're watching, it was really lovely to meet you. We had a long chat and I helped her with buying fabrics, but she talked about having her colours done. And I asked what my, I don't know how you describe it, but what my colours would be. And she said I was a cool winter. So I looked that up to see what sorts of colours I should be wearing. And it's like vibrant, like jewel tones and like high contrast colours, like black, white, red, that sort of thing. So actually these colours are colours that suit me and suit my colouring. So I think I will actually hang on to this. And I'm not sure entirely what to make with it but I am gonna keep it. So it's lovely, it's a viscose, like I said, it's drapey, it'll make a lovely dress, wide leg trousers, culottes, jumpsuit, a skirt. Yeah, let me know if you've already sewn this up, what you have made it into, or what you think I should sew it up into, because yeah, I'm actually feeling it. <laughs> so that was last month's box, which was September that to one side. And now let's get into this month's box, which is October. I have to say I have looked inside this box and it is one of my favourite boxes for quite a while now. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Let's just show you an overview of this box. There we go. Right, so the theme of this month is dream a little dream. And I know Hayley thought about a few different options for this month with it being October. She thought maybe Halloween or spooky, that sort of thing. But I think this is a gorgeous theme. I love that rainbow on the front. It's really lovely. And I know the theme originated from the fat quarters that are in the box and they are really beautiful. So Hayley talks about 
well, about the fact that she was considering Halloween themed, but she went with the magical, mystical, dreamy feel that came from the Fuck Waters. So the classic and mini boxes have the same fabric. There are two different colorways of it. And then the luxury box has an art gallery fabric, which is a cotton and a pattern from Dovetail London, which is a Claudette trousers. So there is an interview with Adaku Parker, who is Dovetail London who has contributed the pattern. So I look forward to reading that. There's a lovely make of the month from Rachel. Then we've got three boxes, three makes. So Esther received the mini box and she made this lovely top out of one meter of fabric. Then Gemma received the luxury box and she made the Davenport dress by Friday Pattern Company, which is one that I've made and really enjoy. And then Laura received the classic box and she got the other colourway and she made the Anthea blouse by Anna Allen, which everyone seems to be going crazy about right now. And I feel like I need to get involved. Although I'm not sure the style is for me. <laughs> I've been thinking a bit more about my style recently and I, I'm just not sure if it's for me, but I really love it on other people. So yeah, loving that blouse from Laura too. Then we've got my quarter project and because it was to do with dreams, this box was all dream themed. I thought about sleep. I considered making a sleep mask, but then I decided to go for something that's part of my bedtime routine. And that is, Ziggy's about to jump up on my knee. <laughs> Hi Ziggy. You haven't been in a video for a while, have you? I haven't been in a video for a while, have I? <laughs> It's because Ziggy's been watching Michelle from Sewing Bunny and seeing Misty and then also um, Ruan from the Yorkshire Soul Girl and her cat, is it Tigger? So all the cats just want to get involved and outshine their owners. <laughs> so anyway, yes, I um, included a project which was reusable makeup wipes and a little bag to put them in, which makes an ideal gift. So it would be great for Christmas presents. Then there is another interview. Well, it's actually a tutorial, a tips and tricks tutorial from Victoria of Little Rosy Cheeks, who designs the most amazing labels for clothes. And she has some labels in the box. So there's some tips on how to insert the perfect label and get it nice and straight and sort of when to put it into your clothes and things like that. That's great. There's some lovely links from Hayley. She's recommended Where the Crawdads Sing, which was one of my favorite books from last year that I read. So I would highly recommend that as well. There is a profile of the month from Vicky and she's made some beautiful garments. So her Instagram is Vicky in Stitches with underscores on, uh, between the words. And these dresses that she's made are absolutely stunning. Really love this one in particular. I think that's the Calvin wrap dress by True Bias. Really lovely. And then there are pattern picks from the fold line, so suggestions with what you could do with your fabric. Hi Ziggy again. And then the Makers Gallery at the back, and there's Ruan from the Yorkshire Soul Girl. She's there. If you have not watched Ruan's latest video yet, please do. It's another, it's a So Hayley Jane unboxing, so it's basically the same as what I'm doing now, but she's just great to watch anyway. And she mentions the fact that she's going to the knitting and stitching show in Harrogate on the Friday, and I'm going to meet up with her because I am also going. So she's going with her mum, I'm going with my mum, but we're going to meet up and have a little cuppa and a chat, and I'm sure we'll have some photos taken together and it'll be great. Right, so that's the magazine. I'll pop that to one side. The sweet treat is one of my favorites. So if I'm giving the chocolate buttons to Sam from the last box, these are definitely mine. Milky Way Magic Stars. I might give one or two to Taylor as well as a little treat. But yeah, they're one of my favorite, favorite sweet treats. And obviously Magic Stars, Dreams, all makes sense. So that's the treat. Then we've got some snap fasteners, which always come in handy to have in your sewing box. What do you think, Ziggy? <laughs> the fat quarters that Hayley based the box around are really, really stunning. So 
this one jumps out at me. So we've got this unicorn and it's got lovely glitter highlights in it. It's really beautiful. Then we've got this lovely floral one. The colors are just gorgeous. This unicorn print. And then this floral, which has also got glitter in it as well. So they're just absolutely beautiful. Really lovely fat quarters. Then there are some beautiful labels from Little Rosy Cheeks and these are the You Deserve to Dream labels, which I think I already have because they're just gorgeous, but who doesn't need more? And these are perfect for sewing into children's clothes as well. That's just a lovely message to have in their clothing. There's also a lovely little discount code for Little Rosy Cheeks, 20% off. So that's great. It doesn't look like it has an expiry date either. So I haven't missed out unlike last month. And then the thread that I've got is this dusky blue color. And the fabric I've got is this gorgeous double gauze. So we've got lovely butterflies all over and it's in this really nice blue shade. So talking about the colors that suit me, blue is actually one of them because I've got blue eyes and blue helps to bring out the blue in my eyes as well. So I'm really happy that I got this colorway. There was a pink colorway as well, like a pinky mauvey color, but I'm actually really happy I got this one. So there's two and a half meters of double gauze here and I'm not sure what to do. I think after watching Ruan, I just want to make pajamas. So that might be what I do. <laughs> I think, she raved about double gauze pajamas and I think I might just need to jump on that bandwagon and make some as well because I think that is just really beautiful and then if I've got any left over I'll probably make some like muslin cloths for babies so I made quite a few out of double gauze before I had Taylor and we use them all the time so I could make some more using this I think that's what I might do. So yeah, these are probably going to be pajamas if I'm honest, because that'll just be really cozy and snuggly and delightful. <laughs> if you got this double gauze, this in the classic or the mini box, then please let me know what you are planning on doing with as well. I'd love to hear from you. Right, I think that's everything. <sighs> yeah, this is a little bit tight on the old biceps. Right, thank you so much for watching. If you do not already subscribe to So Hurley Jane, but you would like to, you would like to try it out, maybe with Christmas coming up, you'd like to treat yourself or treat somebody else to a box, you can get 10% off your first box with my discount code, which is Tamlin10. I'll leave all the details in the description box below and we'll pop it on the screen for you. Yeah, that'll get you 10% off. And I do receive a small commission in exchange. Is that the word? <laughs> but yeah, if you sign up using my code, I do receive a small commission. So it's highly appreciated if you do. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. If you don't already subscribe to my channel, I would really love it if you could and join me here on a permanent basis. If you've liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up. That means that YouTube will share my video out to more people and that's also great. I hope you're all really well and I'll see you again in another video, hopefully very soon. I did say I was going to do a video every week and it just hasn't panned out that way, but I'm doing them as often as I can, I promise. And hopefully I'll be back with another one really soon. Thank you so much for watching and happy sewing. Bye. In different piles, so we've got a viscose pile, uh, like... <laughs> my music just randomly started playing on my phone. I think because Sam got into the car and I'm still connected to the Bluetooth. Never mind. Um, <sighs> sorry, hair stuck in my lip gloss. <laughs> Just smiling for the thumbnail, Sam. Uh,